Thanks for staying with us. I'm Matt McCutcheon. Scott Swan will be in later tonight. Today, there is important information for hundreds of thousands of patients who have had open heart surgery. 13 investigates has discovered they may have been exposed to a dangerous bacteria during their operation. Our senior investigative reporter, Bob Siegel, is here now with more why Indiana hospitals are working feverishly to try to contact these patients. I think the big question is how far back does this go? Well, let's start first by sharing that 13 investigates has learned at least 7,000 open heart surgery patients in Indiana are going to get letters from their hospital warning about a device that was used during their surgery. That device may have become contaminated with a rare bacteria that can cause a slow developing life threatening infection. IU Health says in the next few weeks it will be notifying about 6,500 patients who had open heart surgery since 2012. The Routabush VA Hospital says it's already sent letters to 430 patients. They're taking action after the U.S. Centers for Disease Control got involved. It advised medical centers to contact patients who are hooked up to a specific type of machine that cools and heats their blood during surgery. So far, that machine has been linked to at least 28 serious infections and 12 deaths in heart surgery patients. The CDC says the risk is relatively low, but still a big concern for the hundreds of thousands of people impacted by the news. We just received this as if we haven't dealt with enough. I mean, he has some of the symptoms that they're listing for um, that possible bacteria as far as you know, night sweats and fatigue. It makes me wonder. I the warning symptoms of the infection, you just heard some of them, they include night sweats, muscle aches, weight loss, fatigue, fever, signs of a potentially serious bacterial infection that heart patients need to be looking out for. IU Health says it will be sending warning letters out to its affected patients by mid-January. We're reaching out to other hospitals to figure out which facilities have used these devices and just how many patients are impacted. We'll have more coming up uh, at 5.30 on Eyewitness News this evening. And it is important to point out, we're talking about patients who had heart surgery dating back to 2012. The last four years, those are the patients impacted by this man. And so many people know someone who's had open heart surgery. My mother, for example. Right. But so many people are concerned about them making it through it. Now to hear about this four years later. Right. And most patients don't have any idea this is going on. That's why the warning letters are going out. Because, um, you know, these infections can be incredibly serious, even deadly. So they want patients and doctors to be looking out for them so they can catch them early if they do have it. All right. Well, look for your story tonight at 530. Bob, thank you so much for joining us here at noon.